Hi, welcome to Mattia's Cooking Journal. Today we're going to make tiramisu. It is an Italian dessert. It is made with ladyfingers that are soaked in espresso coffee where you've added a, a coffee liqueur in it. And then you make a beautiful creamy filling. It's made with eggs and, and sugar and mascarpone. Makes a delicious dessert. Let's get started. Okay, so in my KitchenAid, I'm going to do is separate the yolks from the, the whites. All right. We're going to have to beat these later. Yolk. So what we're going to put is four tablespoons of sugar in with your yolks. Set your beater on high and let it go, let it beat till it gets nice and foamy and creamy. And this is going to be the We want to scrape down the sides, make sure it gets mixed really well. been going about five or six minutes. Now you see how creamy that is? Nice and fluffy. That's what you want. All right. All right. Now we're going to add two eight ounce containers of mascarpone cheese. I guess it's the equivalent of um, Italian cream cheese, so this is going to beat for a while. And just let it beat like that until it's well mixed. Okay, so this has been going for a bit. It's about, uh, about two or three minutes, just till you get the mascarpone cheese well blended with your eggs. All right, so we've prepared the mascarpone, the eggs, that's done. Now I have to beat the, um, the whites. are nice and fluffy. You want to get them like that to the point where they're nice and dry and airy. That's what you want. And we're going to mix it. All right, got your cream here. And we're going to add just a little bit and try and fold it. Fold it over just to nice incorporate the bubbles you did with the... You don't um, want to do this vigorously because you're going to knock out all these weights. A little more. Okay, here we have a cup of um, espresso coffee. I made this through my little espresso machine. Uh, if you don't have it, go ahead and make your regular coffee stronger. You need a strong coffee to blend with the cookies to pick up the flavors. And I will add half a cup of coffee liqueur. This is Kahlua. You can add any. Just mix it all up there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put it in a springform pan, the cookies. Now you don't want to leave these in there too long. And start layering these beautiful Italian cookies. Now these are um, Bellinos. There's this, the Torino cookies. Uh, most of these stores carry these now. This is what you need. The other soft lady fingers will not do this. Mm -hmm. They will totally fall apart. One more over here. Right okay. 
Now these will get soft after a while. You're going to start adding your cream. So take your cream, take a little bit of that cream, and start adding. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is cut a few, measure the tops about that much. And just run it up and down the sides of your dish. A few more. You need to go all the way around. Keep going around. Now, don't worry if you've got one higher than the other. When you start to get soft, they'll, they're very pliable. You can make them all the same size. All right. Let's get a few more. In there, Just start layering. You can take some of these little guys and pop we'll it off corners. with the rest of your cream. So that was the last layer. What I've got here is about, it's about two tablespoons of a good quality cocoa. And just dust it, cover it completely. Off your Run it through a cream. sieve. You don't want any lumps in there. Just all over. And this is ready to refrigerate. There you go. We're going to stick it in the fridge. It needs to chill at least four hours. Better if you can do it overnight. And then we'll eat. Okay, so it's been in the fridge for about four hours. What I'm going to try and do is open this up and set it on a platter. And it looks pretty good. Ease that out of there. I want to do a little extra something for the tiramisu. I'm going to beat up some cream, some whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. I've got a cup in there, and I've got two tablespoons of sugar, which I'll add gradually. So beat this up. brush, pastry brush, pastry bag, go ahead and use it. Otherwise you could just dollop cream on it or don't put any cream on it. All right, so I filled my bag up with cream. I just want to simmer it. I just want to dollop. Don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can leave this part out. I do a little extra stuff at the bottom. Looks nice and neat. And there you go. Let's taste it. I'm gonna cut a slice. Ooh.
Oh, that's so good. You taste the Kahlua, the coffee, the cocoa, and that the creamy mascarpone. It's not strong at all. Absolutely delicious. Not too difficult to make. Simply elegant dessert. So, try it for your family. Someone's birthday. Other than regular birthday cake, try this. Enjoy.